Right, guys, we got more media lies to expose and, of course, report to Ofcom. I'll put links down below so you can do that, much like you did following the Lorraine show's outright lies on the 7th of December that I made a video on at the time. It had Dr. Shillery Jones quoting 90% unjabbed hospital figures he must have known was wrong, which got them a warning, like I said, partly thanks to you guys complaining to Ofcom, so well done for that one. Obviously, it's a shame that Ofcom didn't do more, but a warning was more than I actually thought we would get in all honesty, so we'll have to take it, I guess. Ofcom is bloody useless as you know, and that's being generous, let's be honest. Now this time, it's not Dr. Shillery Jones talking crap, it's come from a proud jabber doctor on the Jeremy Vine show, which in all honesty should actually get multiple complaints per show, given the utter tripe spewed out on there daily. Anyway, this doctor is yet another liar that makes the claim that most of the people in hospital are unjabbed. Of course, that's an outright lie before you even get into the fact that most people listed as hospitalised with bat flu are in there for other reasons and not for that. In fact, Sajid Jabid said himself the figures are unreliable, which we have been saying forever at this point. But, even going on the government's own figures, I can prove this idiot wrong, and since Jeremy Vine made no attempts to challenge the crap he comes out with, a complaint to Ofcom is warranted. But enough of me talking, listen to it for yourself. Uh, I am a huge right. advocate of the vaccine. It's been a game changer. It saves lives. The majority of people that are in hospital now are people who've not had the vaccination, and that's an absolute tragedy. Yeah, I mean, it, I suppose the weird thing here is we are we have to be led by the science on it, and you've just rightly said that the vaccine is a game changer and it's overwhelmingly safe and it is protective. And it's just very odd if we have got people in the health service who seem to reject that science. So there you have it. Of course, that is completely untrue, no matter which way you swing it. And I have the data from the UK Health Security Agency to share all over it. Health Protection Agency, what? What Stalinist minds thought up that nomenclature? Yes, the government's own website shows the data for jab versus unjabbed in hospitals alongside cases and deaths. So I think at this point Diane Apopotamus did the maths on these figures because the government website shows that the jabbed win the lot. The majority are jabbed when it comes to cases, hospitalizations, and deaths. And like I said, this is the data from the UK government itself, so no one can talk any shit about it being wrong, unless of course they're saying the government's lying to us. But here it shows 3,183,566 people tested positive between week 51 2021 and week 2 2022. So that's the 24th of December 2021 to the 14th of January 2022. Now, for context, the number of tests conducted in that time was 34,903,579, so nearly 35 million tests to get a bit under 3.2 million so-called cases. Now, when it comes to those cases that involved hospital stays, we had a total of 15,012. Of course, remembering what I said earlier about this not meaning that they're sick in hospital with it. But out of those 15,000 patients, 4,752 were unjabbed, which last time I checked works out to be 31.65% of 15,012. So the majority in hospital being unjabbed is an outright lie based on the figures from the government and that has actually been true for months. It's similar to the lie that got the Lorraine show a warning so the Jeremy Fine show deserves to be reported for it also. Now, when it comes to positive tests, just to completely shit on this doctor and everything else, here is the breakdown. Of those 3,183,566 positive tests, 697,751 were not vaccinated. This works out to be 21.9%, meaning the other 78.1% are either single, double or triple jabbed. So you know what, let's actually go a bit deeper on it because we can. When it comes to the double jab total for all age groups, it's at 1,112,775 or 34.95% of 34 the nearly 3.2 million positive tests in the last three weeks that we have data for. Then when we go to triple jabbed, it's 935,829 positive tests that works out to be 29.39% of all these cases. So certainly not, a pandemic of the unvaccinated based on these numbers is it guys? Now next up as I said the hospitalisation figures for the unjabbed the 4,752 out of 15,000 or 31.65%. 
meaning obviously 68.35% are jabbed either way 1, 2 or 3. This breaks down to the double jabbed with 4,127 or 27.49%, and then the triple jabbed with 5,143 or 34.25%. So literally, once again, it's not mostly unvaccinated taking up hospital space, is it? And finally, we got the deaths within 28 days of a positive test. This is the most ridiculous and fraudulent metric I've ever heard of when it comes to counting a death. But the UK government data puts it at 3,893 deaths within 28 days of a positive test for the three weeks we have in question. Of them, the unjab deaths are listed at 1,015 or 26.7%, meaning jab deaths account for 73.9% of the total. This breaks down as double jab deaths within 28 days of a positive test at 1,418 or 36.42%. All while the triple jab deaths are 1,256 or 32.6% of the total. So personally, I would say that completely shits all over what this piss poor TB doctor said and more. Now I spent hours checking and double checking them numbers so they are correct and hopefully can help you guys in some way to make it worth the hour or so I spent going through them and working it all out. But for now, that is all I have on this one. Remember to report the show to Ofcom for its blatant lies that we've exposed here. The link to do it will be down below in the video description as I said. There is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors. Slaves against their owners, the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies, Mr. Verhofstadt, against their empires. And that is why Britain is leaving. And it doesn't matter which language you use, we are going and we are glad to be going. We're off. Yeah.